Today we're in the Mansfield office with our uh, volunteer patient, Allison, from Wellsboro, and she's going to be with us today to demonstrate the three different uh, pressure reading techniques or instruments that we can use to measure the eye pressures. This process is called tonometry. The first test that we will use is uh, tonopen, and with that we need to um, calibrate this instrument. It's already calibrated. And instill a drop into Allison's eye. It will lightly touch recording readings and beeping and once it gets multiple readings it'll average them and give us a digital readout on the end, much like a thermometer does when you stick it in a little child's ear. Eye pressure is usually measured in millimeters of mercury. The normal range for most individuals is 15 plus or minus 5 points, so a range of 10 to 20 is a very typical range. Now just because someone pops up above 20 uh, doesn't necessarily mean they have the condition of glaucoma. Glaucoma is typically at a higher eye pressure that um, also has with it um, shape change to the nerve, the internal nerve shape changes over time, and you have a coinciding um, visual field loss. Now um, many people we follow have high eye pressures but they don't have shape changes to the nerve over time and those people we just follow their pressures and monitor the appearance of their nerves. Um, Allison doesn't have any of these uh, shape changes to her nerves and I'm sure her pressures will be fine today but we're going to put drops in now to numb the surface of the eye so we can perform this test. We're going to put a drop of anesthetic in Allison's right eye so that we can use the tono pen and make it a little more comfortable for her during this testing. This is just tetracaine, and it'll take uh, just a few seconds to numb the front of the eye so that she will not um, feel the tono pen when we use it. Of course, she's a contact lens where she probably could even tolerate it without any anesthetic, but she's opted for it today. Now we'll perform the, the actual testing procedure. It takes just a matter of a few seconds. Allison, just look straight ahead out there for me. The test is performed by just lightly touching the surface of the eye. Then the tonal pen stops, pressure of 19, which is within the normal range. We're now going to do tonometry on Allison's left eye, and this time we're going to use the procedure called Goldman tonometry. Now we're going to do it a little bit differently than we typically would. Uh, usually we'd use uh, a drop that is not only an anesthetic, it has a yellow dye in it, but Allison is a contact lens wearer. So I'm going to use the tetracaine again, and then use a large molecule fluorescein strip, which once it's in the eye, the yellow dye is in the eye, it won't be absorbed into our contact lenses, whereas the fluorescein would absorb into our contact lens and permanently stain it. Look up for me. And this is the large molecule fluorescein strip. We'll just wet this with a couple drops of saline. And then you just swab that onto the lower, lower portion of the eye. There should be plenty of dye in there and then we need to use the uh, microscope. Now with this instrument, this blue light is the tonometer tip and this is removable. That's clean between every patient. There's a little prism inside of here that splits our images and what we're going to look for is two half circles. Now if they're like this, our pressure isn't high enough as we adjust it up here. As we move across and they, the insides of each half circle touch, that's our point of neutrality, our point where we're me actually measuring the appropriate pressure. And uh, these are called Myers, M-I-R-E-S. And the, those half circles are the means by which we measure the eye pressure. I'm going to hold uh, Allison's upper lid so she doesn't blink the tonometer tip off the surface of the eye. We're going to come in close to the eye and then adjust it with our fine uh, adjustment knob down below. And once I'm on the surface of the eye, I will adjust the power by using the the knob up top. And there it is. Our pressure is 17. The third instrument we're going to use today is the non-contact tonometer. We use this instrument out in the pre-screening area. And with this instrument, we're going to reflect a certain amount of air onto the surface of the guy. It's going to bounce back, and the machine right here will measure that amount of reflected air. 
If more is reflected, it's a higher pressure because it's a harder eye. If it's a softer eye, more of it will be, be absorbed with the impact of the burst onto the surface of the eye. Most people don't like this puff test, okay? Um, but Allison has been nice enough to volunteer for us today. Allison, you can put your chin right in there for me. It's a simple alignment process. And when you get the Myers nice and clear, it's just a matter of point and shoot. And there's our measure, measurement of 14. And it automatically goes to the other eye. And we can measure that one as well. Just a matter of focusing it, raising your chin a little bit, and press and shoot, 14 and 16 both within the normal range. 